Hi all, this is just a quick video because it appears that there's been some level of confusion with my last video which, I just to reiterate, all of my captures are on external hardware and they use my own bespoke software. Just in case you're not aware, I don't use inbuilt software like uh, Fraps or um, MSI Afterburner or anything like that. Everything is captured through external capture devices, not the device running the game directly and then that is analysed through my own written software which is a combination of C++ libraries and my own bespoke applications and algorithms that I wrote to analyze the footage that I capture. Now this means that I need additional processes on PC. This means things like FCAT Overlay, which runs within MSI Afterburner and is fully supported on DirectX 11 titles and others, but Vulkan is not one of them. So I can't add that on the Output Overlay. This may come in a later date, either directly from its software by adding it in themselves, or with it being updated within the Vulkan API. This is also something that I may even look at myself, but time is always the issue and I am working on a solution at present. As judging by the results we're seeing here in Doom, Vulcan has the legs to go long and far. Now I just want to show you, this is using the inbuilt overlay that Tiago Souza or whoever within the team has actually developed within Doom. The full nightmare mode gives you more information than you could possibly desire. So as you can see, it happily runs way above 60, in fact way above 120 hertz. It really has no problems at all, hitting above 100 frames per second. Now the video that I showed you before is using my software and a capture, and with the game capped to 60, this stutter is an issue with AMD cards. Remember, this is still the most accurate way to get frame times from what is presented on screen, and that's why it's used. And it's obviously the only way you can do it on consoles. But here on PC, the metric and the level here being shown is sufficient enough that we can trust it and say it's doing above 60 quite easily. Remember, most people do have a 60 hertz monitor, so running a game without tearing is a preference, and certainly my own. But if you don't have that monitor, you have a faster one, or you prefer tearing, then as you can see, it runs very smooth indeed, but you're not really going to benefit any frame over 60 unless your monitor displays frames faster than 60. But those are the stats. I just wanted to make sure that everyone is aware the RX 480 is a beast of a card with a beast of a game here in Doom that impressed me greatly from its console and PC release using OpenGL, and yet again here. And the Vulkan API has pushed that on yet further. It's a massive improvement, but I'll cover that in more detail. Anyway, this is the footage using the overlay. As you can see, there's no problems once V-Sync is off. The RX 480 is the card you need to buy if you're on the market now. And especially when it comes to a 1440 resolution, it beats the GTX 970 pretty much in every game that I tested. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this or anything else that I've put together. And I'll see you on the next one. Security